Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. This is Marco, my man Hi. in Lecce, and he's, look at him, right, what a beautiful person he is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and today we are going to tour this first floor apartment, which was built in the 19th century. It goes much further than that. It's got frescoes, it's got beautiful flooring, and it's got a terrace. Are you ready? Let's go. God, this is a beautiful, beautiful town. I mean, it's, Lecce is regarded as the Florence of the South, and you can understand why uh, you have just this most incredible buildings, and they are all built in sandstone, and it's the local stone, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm trying to give you a good view of the first floor property. Oh. I mean, what a day, really, just unbelievable. And look at it, it's just gorgeous as the camera adjusts. And you can see here as we come round to this front door and as I pull down, um, this property is being used at the moment as a bed and breakfast, but look at this door. You, you know, don't you? You absolutely know what I'm going to say. Yes. And look at the patina on that. It's just gorgeous. But this is what I want to show you today. Just absolutely fantastic. As I come down here, there's the knocker. And here is the knob. Knockers and knobs. Now, what I find inc incredible is that basically that door is only about four foot, four foot high. And that's what I find quite incredible. And you would not have had the main doors open and you would have had to stoop to get into the property. I wonder why. I spoke to Marco. He said to me that basically in the 19th century, people were a lot smaller. Oh, I don't know about that, but... Yeah, I just, uh, I just find that incredibly interesting. Why would it be so small? I suppose really it's the construction of the actual wood and the door itself. <laughs> now, as I said to you, that this is being used as a bed and breakfast and immediately as you come in, you can see the stone in Lecce and it really is just the most charming, romantic, thing that you've just ever seen and we're going to have a little wander around later the automatic lights have just kicked in and so the balance is going to change slightly as i come up the stairs right so here we go we're coming up to the first floor and you're presented with a beautiful beautiful double doors and then you walk in to a really nice entrance hall. Now, as I said, it's being used as a bed and breakfast, but the ceiling heights are incredible. And it must be 20 feet. And you have beautiful, almost Georgian actually, windows ground the floor with balconies all the way along. But what I want to show you is the first principal bedroom. Look at this flooring. Now the house is closed up at the moment, but just look at those tiles. They are just gorgeous. And then if I slowly bring the camera back, back up and pan up slowly, we're going to go up and have a look at uh, the frescoes. Again, beautiful high windows, just lovely. Now, when I came into this room, 
and we looked up at the ceilings and they are original. They have exquisitely painted pictures of towns and cities and we were trying to work out what is what, but the only one that we could potentially you know, put a name to is that. And that, if I'm not mistaken, looks like the Ponte Vecchio in Florence. Which would make sense actually, as this is the Florence of the South. And really, it is stunningly beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Now, this apartment is 250 square meters. And what I do like about it is that it's very bright. You've got absolutely lovely light and I expect the light in the summer is going to be amazing. All the woodwork as well is just gorgeous. And if I come through into this salon and I show you this room, and I want to get down because I, I do want to show you this flooring because you know, I love the arts and crafts period. And that period is roughly between, you know, 1890 and 1910. And these tiles are just beautiful. <laughs> I want them. I really do. They are just gorgeous. Now this building has had, or this apartment has had some work done over the years. Um, and as we pull through into another salon, basically again, you've just got beautiful flooring. And then if I pull up and I can show you this other fresco. Now this house used to be owned by a very noble, family and you can see just by the the frescoes and the flooring yeah i can just see a little a little crack up there but i'm not really worried about that i mean we've all got little cracks here and there yeah no i'm i'm i'm, I'm not i'm more interested in basically the you know, it's been standing for three, four hundred years, so it's going to be standing for a bit longer. Now, this is uh, another bedroom. And it has a incredible, almost, you know, northern African feel about it with the roof as well. And that's what's so interesting about Lecce that, that I mean, this, this town has... Well, not only did, did a king move the place at one point, but uh, you know, it was being conquered over the years by so many different people. Um, and it basically has a very kind of Greek and also Northern, North African feel about it. Now this room has a bathroom en suite. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna show you these dinky little toilets and you know, that is done at a later stage. And although that you've got this beautiful stone arch, which I can see, you've got a later addition tile and, uh, and a shower unit, which, you know, I'm not a great fan of those. So I think that probably you would want to uh, have a little bit of updating. No, going back to... Uh, basically the northern or north african feel about the place you know it's very interesting that you've got this archway and i've been told by the owner that that is a later addition at some stage i'm just going to go back into the first beautiful bedroom that we saw so that uh, i can show you this really quite fun 
bathroom. Okay, so we're back now in the first bedroom with the frescoes and it has this, it has this really dinky, really dinky little toilet. So it's almost like a cubby hole, you know, but I suppose it is a toilet. And then I asked Marco whether basically that, that has been registered and is correct. And he said, yes, it is. So there you have it. And then across in the other side of the room, you've got this really dinky, again, shower unit that you step into. I just find it incredible. Yeah, no, perfect. But I probably wanted to redo the tiles on there. And then you have a beautiful balcony which overlooks the square. Can you see the light? Can you imagine in the summer? I mean, what beautiful light this would be. Well, it's beautiful today, to be honest with you. Right, now we come into bedroom three. As we come into bedroom three, you can see that Basically, there's the covers on the bed because, as I mentioned, it's closed. And then you have, and I will pull up so you can see it, these beautiful ceilings. They really are. Yeah, I like it. Just a really lovely space. Now here, um, the owner told me that when she bought the house, um, these floors were too far gone to save. And so they put down some travertine flooring. But, you know, if it was me, I would want to take those up. And I just want to come out here because uh, I just want to see if I can show you this, which is the view looking out of your window. I mean, look at that. I can't get it open any further. We are right in the centre of Lecce. I adore this place. It's just beautiful. I mean, Marco was telling me that basically 30 years ago, nobody knew about this, you know, and within the last 30 years, basically the, the whole town has exploded and it is now regarded as, well, if you like the period of Baroque, which I do, um, it's regarded as a a must-see part of your great Italian sojourn. Now, I hope you're not getting too confused. We're coming back into the hallway where we first came in, and then I'm just going to turn to the left. And this is the last bedroom of the bed and breakfast. And this has a fresco. The ceilings are slightly lower. And it has a window on the right side, on the right hand side with a small bathroom, but that wall where you see the window is a later addition. Now we're coming into the kitchen. And I think that this needs some work doing to it myself. And then you have a, a principal bathroom. Quite clean and tidy. But again, I would think about actually doing a conversion and I can see some of the stonework, the original stonework, which is a buff. Now, when I first came, 
And I said, uh, what's that little door? And uh, the owner said to me, oh, well, that used to be the maid's quarter, quarters, but, um, you know, it's not restored or anything. And <laughs> oh, right. I, I want to get in there. I really do. Look, you know, I mean, let, let's, let's get in there. You, you see, I, I mean, look, sandstone, like cut in chunks, made into stairs. Oh, really? It's just fantastic. You come around here and a kind of little labyrinth of stairs going up. And then you get to this top and this room, and this would have been your maid's area. And then you've just got this magical private room. I mean, look at that. Wow. What a beautiful space to uh, just get away and you know, a bit of meditation or you were writing your memoirs. Oh, I just, 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 just love it. I just love it. Okay, we're just going to go down the stairs and um, I'm going to cut and we're going to take the stairs going up to the terrace. Okay, so now we're just walking up beautiful wrought iron balustrade and I'm just going to uh, Get up here and see if I can open that. Yes, I can. And then out we go. <laughs> Your own private terrace in the heart of Lecce. And look, if I look around here. Just beautiful. It really is just stunningly beautiful, the old town of Lecce. What a great space to have. Let's put the camera down. Right. Two hundred and fifty square meters of first floor noble bliss. Ten rooms in total. It has three bathrooms. It has those really inky dinky kind of strange but weird and lovely bathrooms, and it's got the big principal bathroom as well. So there's one, two, three. Well, there's four bathrooms actually. Thought we're thinking about it. Yeah, there are four bathrooms, four bedrooms, running as a B and B. The owner would like to sell it now, and so there you have it. Property tax. 2,100 euros a year. Rubbish tax, not quite sure, but I'm sure it's not gonna be more than 500 euros a year. And the price, 740,000 euros, which makes a little under 3,000 euros a square meter. Now you might be saying to me, you know, are you mad? You know, but I will say to you, last year I shot a video of this derelict apartment, which I basically thought was amazing, absolutely amazing. And I had a number of comments from you and you said to me, you must be mad, Nick. This is like a, a derelict mess. And it was bought by a Canadian two months later, who I'm sure if I met, I would shake his hand and say congratulations and he would smile because I know he bought a fabulous property. Lecce, the Florence of the South, the only way property prices are going is up. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. For those of you who have subscribed, I thank you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, we are shooting for the stars of 100,000. And if you be so kind and just push those buttons and that will help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I've just stopped the car on the side of the road because I've seen this tree. I'm just going to need to give it a, a really big hug. Did you know that these trees are over a thousand years old? 
and there are hundreds, if not thousands of them, all over Puglia. It is just an incredible sight. And if you come to Puglia, stop and come and hug a tree. Thank you. Ciao.